Uh, welcome to class. Today we are going to be seeing how to solve some equations. So let's see the first example now. Solve 5x minus 4 equals to 2x plus 11. So first thing we write the equation. Now we we'll collect like terms by subtracting 2x from both sides and adding 4 to both sides. So we have 5x minus 2x which is 3, 11 plus 4 is 15. So to make our x stand alone, we divide both sides of that equation above the 3 and our x is 5. Now let's see equations with fraction. We are going to see how to deal with equations with fraction. To find the value of y if 4y over 5 minus 2y over 3 equals to 15. Now the lowest common multiple of 3 and 5 is 15. So let's see how to simplify the left hand side. So we say 15 divided by 5 is 3. 3 times 4y minus 15 divided by 3 is 5. 5 times 2y. So everything equals to 4. Now 3 times 4y is 12y. And 5 times 2y is 10y. So when we remove 10y from 12y, we have 2y. Now to remove the fraction, we multiply both sides of 2y over 15 equals to 4 by 15. And when we do that, we get 2y is equals to 60. So to make y stand alone, we divide both sides by 2 and our y is 30. Okay, let's proceed by seeing another example. Solve the equation. 4x plus 1 over 4 equals to 2 over 3 minus x. So the same thing, we collect like terms by adding x to both sides and subtracting 1 over 4 from both sides. So we say 4x plus s equals to 2 over 3 minus 1 over 4. 4x plus s is 5x. The LCM of 3 and 4 is 12. 12 divided by 3 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 12 divided by 4 is 3. 3 times 1 is 3. So 5x equals to, if you remove 3 from 8, we have 5. So to, mix, to make x stand alone, we divide both sides by 5. Or we say we multiply both sides by 1 over 5. It's still the same thing. And when we do that, we get our x is equal to 1 over 12. Okay. So here are some assessment questions for you.